we we've already gone five minutes in on this thing, and we try and keep it about thirty minutes so we don't uh, we don't waste too many people's times. But uh, but yeah, UFC two forty nine. Just before we decided to come on here, they have replaced Habib with Justin Gaethje, which is we thought that was going to happen. Yeah, I mean that that was the rumor leading up to it and whatnot. They still have not announced a location. Now, it doesn't really matter because nobody's yeah. buying tickets to this and whatever, but the fighters still really don't know a location. We are Then we'll get them there. I mean, that's not a problem. We're 12 days away from this thing, and that's why Habib would not stay on with the fight is because he didn't know where it was going to be. He didn't he even know if he could get there. Even if, even if they gave him a fight 30 yeah. days from now ago, he, he couldn't get there. Yeah, and that's I think, like, I think Russia would have been willing to work with him. I think. I don't, I don't know. know that. But I don't know about that. E- either way, uh, the gate, the gate, the matchup with Tony Ferguson. That it's a fantastic matchup. It's the number two, yeah. uh, yeah. the number two pound for pound fighter against the number four. Uh, I can't talk. Number four pound for pound fighter. Uh, yeah. These guys are unbelievable. Uh, Justin is twenty one and two. Tony Ferguson is twenty five and three. These guys have both won a ton of fights in a row. They are strikers. They are energetic and upbeat and fantastic and so much fun to watch. And this, honestly, may be a better matchup to watch than Habib against Tony Ferguson. It, Habib, well, I think it's gonna. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. I think we're getting to a point at some point in time where you're picking nits. You know, you, you get you get good fights sometimes. You get bad fights sometimes. Well, as, as far as really entertaining, predict it because these I guys think are this both is strikers. Going to be a good fight. Yeah, I, th- I think yeah. it's going to be a great fight. But it's they're both strikers, and I think that's the you, you want something entertaining. You want to bring in the most uh, appealing matchup for fans. Uh, the name Habib does mean something, but there's still people that haven't really watched him. Look, he loves to stay on the ground. That's just not, it, there's no sex appeal with that, you know? No. It, it, now, some people, like the really diehards, get into it. These two guys that are fighting now, they, they're not all about that. Now, they can be. They're good at it if they need to be, but they would rather be up, uh, pounded on each other, as opposed to on the ground trying that. And yes. I love it. I love it. So, it, I, I'm a fan of this matchup. I think this is, uh, it's going to be fun. They have not announced a card yet. Not that it matters. Because the pay per view is going to be sold because of these guys, but well, the pay per view is going to be sold because nobody else has anything else to watch. And true. if he can find you know twelve people willing to beat each other up, then we we can throw six fights together and kill a couple hours and have something to do. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be fun. I think that this is, uh, this is going to be a good time, and I'm I'm glad they're doing it. I still think it's kind of crazy. Uh, the only like they said, it's going to be on the West Coast in the United States. I mean, Wyoming, New Mexico, like it. I mean, the he could West probably, I mean Coast if he's got itself, land like, in California, then he could do it there. I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, but Cal- well, no, California, like the unless you're doing an unsanctioned fight, but this is for a belt. Like this well, is for the then, interim. Yeah, okay, you got to find so, I, mean, I, I don't know about West Coast. Wyoming's not West Coast, okay? Uh, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, like Montana's not West Coast. So I don't know exactly like I don't think it would be in Washington. I like maybe in maybe in Oregon. That's the only know. one because California is not going to sanction. I mean, I was going to say that those are your three options if you're if you're going to use the word coast. Yeah, that's the only three you, states. You don't have a whole lot of choices. I don't I don't know what they're going to do. I got no idea. I, I hope that they do. Like, Why do we they, need a? This is a completely different question. Why do we need a state to sanction a fight if he is the governor of this this organization? Okay, he is the ruler of the president of this organization. These two people fight under his watch, and and the rules set up by the UFC, this organization. Why does the state have to sanction it? You know that's a good question. I don't have a I mean, good why, answer. I mean, literally, for that. why can't they go to Joe Rogan's basement and and or our workout studio that he has in California and just all fight? What would happen if they did? The the sanctioning. We all saw it happen. Uh, that's true. That's true. You have a very valid point. Uh, the sanctioning, 
let's see. Hold on. Uh, all right, so Matt jumped in on YouTube. You would be surprised how unhealthy some of these guys can be. The sanctioning has to do with uh, with protecting the athletes themselves. Yeah, but I think it's also w- normal in boxers. Yes, because there there is no UFC of boxing. All right, there is there is only individuals, and they all work under different promoters. But this is actually a league. Like it's the NFL's responsibility to make sure their players are healthy enough to step on the field. True, it's MLB's responsibility this would be no different than that they don't need the state of washington to sign off on all of seattle players they they just need the the nfl doctors to sign off and say they're good ufc would be no different i mean you have a you have a point I'm not saying these guys are healthy i'm not saying these guys are, are there anything different or special or whatever i'm just saying every other sport it doesn't make sense. They have a, an yeah, organization, a, a state boxing, athletic commission. I totally get because boxing is a it's a, it's ruled by thieves. Okay, yeah, it is it is absolutely just the the wild wild west. It's, I'm I'm trying to see if maybe I can get you an answer, uh, but I don't have one. Uh, Matt said uh, a lot of money has to change hands. They use a lot of drugs to recover and also to drop weight, uh, but I, none of that really explains. I don't, I don't get, I'm like, if you, if, the, if those drugs are legal in Arizona and you take those drugs in Arizona and then you fly to California to fight, then okay. Yeah. Like, I'm still, I'm still not getting it. I also don't know of what happens if they, if you're taking those drugs, I mean, people use illegal drugs every day and nobody knows and nobody cares. Let's see. Title matches, uh, title matches, uh, must be sanctioned for five rounds. Uh, hold on, that's not what we're looking for. Let's see. Uh, for amateur events, nope. I got no good answer for you. I just don't. Uh, I think that's an antiquated thing. I do think that there's a level. It's supposed to be a level of probably security. Oh, and it is. That there's hey, no chicanery. Here's, and here's the good answer. Uh, if an event is sanctioned, that means it's approved by the state, monitored by the state athletic commission, or a licensed third party. Sanctioned events have defined procedures and standards that set to make sure that the fighters are safe. If you aren't sure if the fight uh, coming up is sanctioned, um, then most likely, it's, it blah, blah, blah. This is going through. It's it Basically, unsanctioned fights are shady. That's what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, but boxing has sanctioned fights, and half that shit's really shady. I mean, we've talked about it before, how we think there are people that are judges for boxing that openly throw matches. That we all believe that. And it's yeah. sanctioned, so sanctions don't set, stop that. And True. the safety thing, don't. it's in Dana White's best interest that his fighters are safe. That's, that's the reason the organization's more important than regulation, by the way, is because the NFL cares more about these players not getting hurt on the field now they probably could care less about what happens to these people when they retire. But while they're using them, they need them. And they need them to be healthy and upright and okay. That is true. That is they true. They can't have any problems because that does bring smoke. That does bring heat. And, and it's not good. I just, I just think it's regulations. I think it's money changing hands. I think these states want to have power and control over something that they know is popular and, 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 and wealthy. So yeah, you may have a valid point. You may have at a valid point, point in time. Go to Rogan's Den or find some unobscured, un, undisclosed location. Get the fight out. Stream it up to a satellite that beams it down to everybody's house, and nobody's going to care. We're all just going to be grateful we have something to watch. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's move into the next.